Hey folks, Chad with Data Prep U here. Today we're going to discuss a bit of a hot topic and it focuses on tool execution priority in the Alteryx designer. Let's take a look. Okay, so first it's important to understand what I'm actually talking about. So in many cases I've come across, people actually need process one to finish and then once that completes, it then kicks off the second process, then the third process and so on and so forth. Now the issue is Alteryx by nature doesn't really allow you to set a specific process priority or tool priority but there are plenty of workarounds. One of which is actually the very excellent runner macros that are in the crew macro pack by Adam Riley and team. So essentially what these are, are these are a series of tools that allow you to specify an external workflow. Uh, and then on successful completion or failed completion of that workflow, you could then have it run uh, another workflow. So you're essentially chunking out your processes in separate smaller workflows. Now these are an excellent way of doing this. I've actually done this myself many times. I won't uh, cover these just because Adam has already done an, an awesome job on his own blog, which I will link to in the uh, downloads. Now, what I have done though is, in my experience, I've uh, seen a few situations where people are not able to download an external workflow or an external macro that is not natively in the install to Alteryx. This is very, really, really common in larger organizations that are uh, in a much higher security environment. Now, what I've done is I've actually created my own custom batch macro doing the exact same thing. So ultimately, what we see here is just a pretty simple macro uh, that feeds in uh, an order ID, one, two, and three. But upon running this, you can see that this actually creates down here in my results window, an actual uh, process uh, flow. So process one executed, then process two executed, then it process two or three took the process two output and then executed that. Now, if we open up the hood a little bit to take a look at what I've actually done is I've created this batch macro with each of my steps in different tool containers. Now, each of these are fed in by your control parameter. So I will link to uh, batch macros and what they really are, but essentially it's a way to chunk processing out. And this, it actually works really, really well. So for each one of these, based off of that incoming number, if it's number one, it will disable containers two and containers three and execute only container one. If that incoming number is number two, it will disable step one and step three and run only step two and so on and so forth. So it's really easy to actually build out a multi-step process using only the batch macro itself and the parent workflow. So in a sense, it might be a little easier to maintain for some people because it's fewer workflows to actually process and fewer actual workflows to troubleshoot. So this is my take on order priority and just another example of there being many different ways to solve any one single issue or one single data problem in Alteryx. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hey folks, if you like what you saw regarding order priority in Alteryx, please give us a, a like and subscribe to our channel. That is incredibly helpful for us. In addition to that, definitely check out the crew macros if you are able to download external macro packs. The link is down in the description below. I cannot recommend them enough for some of those really hard to reach places. Uh, finally, if you don't yet have Alteryx, but you would like to check out what I've built, it is fully documented, so you can walk yourself through it uh, as much as you want. If you have any questions, please feel free to write them in the uh, comments section below. Thanks again. See you next time.